Hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast. No more excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, and thank you. Yes, thanks for being here and for sharing the podcast with others and just for listening because, you know, um, we did break the the 4,000 mark in, in, Jan- in January, July. If I could get my months right. Oh, my God. that <laughs> We are halfway through August already, midway. And that's funny that I just screwed that up because I literally, just the other day, um, all week last week, I was just off a day. I woke up last Sunday panicked that the alarm hadn't gone off. It was just like 6.20. And then just that whole week, I kept like being a day ahead of myself. And then last Thursday, I'm getting ready to do this, um, uh, a friend of mine, Jill, is, is calling work sprint, and or I'm going to call it power hour. I like it. You know, you just put your head down and crank for like 90 minutes at least and just knock out something that you've been avoiding, right? And I talk about avoidance and, and shit like that and focus with all my clients. But um, it was so funny because uh, right before we were getting ready to do this, um, she's in Indiana, I'm out here in Cali, but we were doing it together. I panicked because I was like, oh, crap. I had looked in the bill basket, and um, there was this, the bill for the car renewal for the DMV out here, and it had already been a nightmare. And so I'm like, oh, my God, how did I forget to pay this? I'm so stupid. This is going to cost us another fine. Hopefully we won't get it suspended. And da, da, da. Oh, I went on this big spin, wrote the check out. Um, Jill's texting me, are you ready? And I'm like, go ahead. You know, I'm, I've got to walk to the post office. It's not very far. So I'm, yes, going through this whole mental thing of calling myself stupid and how'd I forget and blah, 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 only to get back. And I mean, I went through all that, felt relieved. It's like, okay, I can, I can start doing this. I get to the door and I just start laughing because I pictured the invoice in my head and it was September 12th. And I was thinking, and this was August 13th, and when I was, I'm like, oh my God, I'm a month ahead of myself. So here I just said, you know, January to June, July, I'll get it right. But oh, it's been like that, I think, for a lot of people, because at first when nothing was open, everybody was stuck at home, no one knew what day it was, right? And I thought I was over that, but now I'm off by a month, but I think it's excitement because I'm actually flying back to Indiana where my, my people are, my tribe, you know, my energy right now. And yes, I know some of you listening are like, oh my God, you're going to fly. Yes, I am. And I'm going to be as safe as possible and as smart as possible and just going to have to do it. It's a month away and I think I'm already ready for September. <laughs> anyway, the bill is paid. Now it's time to refocus. And I did my power hour, my work sprint, and it was amazing. So, but back to this podcast. And yes, thank you again. Thanks for all of you for listening and sharing and downloading and, and helping achieve the four, over 4,000 mark, which beat May's, which was 39.55. And all right. So yeah, like everything, it's still it's up in the air, you know, like I just said, some of you probably aren't interested in flying. Some schools right now, I know back in Indiana, a lot of people were posting that the schools are going back. Some are in, virtual, some are in person, some with modifications. I have a couple friends who are teachers. There's concern, you know, and then, you know, for what it's worth, we're right in the smack dab middle of the third quarter, you know, so there's that. So what are we doing in the in the PUA, the pandemic unemployment that $600 a week has stopped? So that's affecting people. So now you're getting into that. It's just this roller coaster ride will not freaking stop, will it? <sighs> I know. I'm channeling my energy to you. Sorry. Um, I, I actually had a call last Thursday. One of my clients, they're fully back open. And it's, it's great, but they're doing that same thing. So maybe I got the energy still from them thinking about that is they're fully open. They're seeing uh, full clients, but they're having to make sure they're still careful and still take making sure the cleaning happens in between patients and, and the processes and procedures. You don't get lazy with that. And then there's others that are just now laying people off and giving up and permanently closing or still temporarily closed, like a lot of gyms out here still are, you know, the individual smaller 
fitness places that you can go outside are open, but it's just crazy. And last week's podcast was about leaning in to take advantage of opportunities to grow your business, um, but also perhaps to inform clients that you are open or of new processes and procedures. You know, taking advantage of those opportunities with discounted advertising and new ways to advertise, ways you hadn't thought of before or tried. You know, many people haven't done Facebook advertising or gotten into the Instagram or TikTok or whatever the hell, right? And then there are new opportunities for every aspect of your life personally and professionally. So what did you try? Hmm? Like last Thursday, the Instagram, my Instagram post, there was an image, quote from, I'm going to screw this name up, Shalag Margain. And it is, so the quote was, it is most often during the most challenging times where there is opportunity to redefine yourself. I mean, that is the last six months, if not most of 2020 already, exactly to a T, right? It's most often during, it is most often during the most challenging times where there's opportunity to redefine yourself. A lot of people have been redefining themselves and it's sometimes hard to see the forest through the trees or, you know, like I said, uh, I wrote in my third book, The Magic Pill, when um, I was trying to, you know, finish up that book and I was trying to wrap my head around just why are certain people, some of my clients, just so... Um, resistant and insistent on finding a shortcut, right? And I, was, I did a, a horseback riding. Um, I had spoken at a conference in Texas and we went horseback riding afterward and my horse named Dusty. I mean, even the horse didn't want to go through the mud. The horse I was on kept stopping and looking around and thinking, you know, we were the last horse in the pack, I guess, um, in the line. And he did not want to go through the mud. So I kept having to steer him back on because he was wanting to take a shortcut around the muck. How many of us are trying to do that? How many of you, like me, were trying to get the hell out of 2020 or in this COVID shit, this pandemic? It's like we were all, no matter if we were working or not working, we were all going, how can we get out of this, right? And for me, it took a couple months to, I don't want to say accept the shit storm, but quit resisting it. I didn't. I don't want to say I leaned in, but I just stopped waking up complaining about it every day. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of brands, and a lot of companies with new logos and websites. And guess it's a great time to do that. And on a little sidebar, many of them have probably already been started because that shit doesn't happen overnight. I had a. I owned a marketing firm for almost fifteen years, so. That doesn't happen overnight, but it's been it's been interesting and, and really cool to see people rebranding themselves and repositioning, and helping clients. Um, some of my clients pivot, and and work through this shitstorm, right? And and looking at the opportunities, and it's really what I've been helping them do is see what good has come out of all of this. <sighs> but regardless, it's been an interesting year, and it's been an interesting year. For, like I said, for a lot of people with rebranding and restructuring, and me included. I mean, I don't know, if, if you've listened for a while, you've heard me talk about my online courses, my business accelerator courses that I launched online. I mean, I wrote those six years ago. I actually did them in person years ago and was thinking about going online. But, you know, six years ago, you know, that was sort of a thing, but not really. But, you know, and they've been sitting in there um, in my folder. And then in January, before before this pandemic, I was working at a co-working space in Newport Beach. And I was like, you know, I grabbed all those folders. And I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm going to dust this off. So I started working on it. And in January, I literally, because it was all ready, I just had to get the platform and get it online, right? I just... You know, I started doing that. And then when it was launch time, the vid happened, right? So it got delayed a little bit, but they did launch. The courses did launch. And then we talked about everybody was crazy, like in March and in April, purging. And I talked about that in some of my podcasts, mentally purging, physically purging your office, your home. And, you know, I went to 
chime into that. Now I just hit my elbow. I'm going to chime into that, but um, I cleaned out and I grabbed a bunch of folders again. I was like, let's see, let's let's see if the how old these notes are because I keep folders for everything with ideas and things I like and things I've participated in, webinars and workshops and things. And I was like, holy shit, this is still still around. This is still viral or I said viral, virtual, and um, looking at all of what the virtual things, um, the ideas I had and had actually started were uh, some virtual webinars, and now I'm like, well, let's continue them because the virtual thing, because of the viral thing, is still around. And then I found even more folders about a membership concept ways to connect people, um, because I have, because of organizations I've been in, I have friends and connections all over the world, which is super cool, and because of you guys listening and sharing it, thank you, and I was like, what is this, you know, this membership concept, this platform, what can I do with this to be able to connect these people um, all over the world and create a community, all right, so that's what I'm working on now and will be launched for quarter four, right? And so there's lots of things, lots of opportunities, you know, that have come to my attention and I'm leaning in. And what about you? I mean, we can't get to the end of 2020 as much as I've heard people say and post and me included, I want 2020 over. Obviously, um, last week I was already wanting it to be September, but you don't want to look back and wonder if you could have done more. You know, it, it's, there's, so much of that even before this happened, but you don't want to get to that and go, damn, I had, you know, five months of lockdown or three months, or maybe, I don't know, you were working the whole damn time, but you, there was opportunities that you let pass you by because you were, were afraid or weren't sure or whatever. You know, now it's time to dig even deeper because trust me, people, I freaking feel you. All right. I feel stuck. There's days I've felt stuck, bored, stressed, excited, anxious, curious, worrisome, and accepting just in the mornings, you know? And I know there's those of you, like I said, who haven't stopped working. I have friends that she works at a car dealer. She hasn't stopped working, and she did. She took a break finally. But you've got to take a break, and you've got to pause. Even though we've been paused, we've been paused on other terms, not our own. So take a minute, look around, think about, you know, like me, dusting off some folders, pulling them out, going, what the hell is in here? Or looking around at the opportunities. Open your eyes, get your head out of the freaking sand and the muck. Take a look around at the opportunities that are here. And I'm going to challenge you all to step into one, to lean into it. Because what more are you willing to do for you? All right? There's no more excuses. No more excuses. COVID sucks. Everything sucks, <laughs> but you all need to take a step and lean into some opportunities. Do something for you because, honestly, the three things I mentioned has really helped keep me sane in extreme times of loneliness and feeling alone because being out here in a different state, even though I can Zoom all day long, it's not the same. And I know for you introverts, it's probably been okay. But for me, ooh, all right? You know, we got it at 2020. It's like, you know, when I have an eye doctor client and they were going to make this big play on 2020, taking the, you know, you know, the whole vi- playing off the vision. And honestly, this has been a good year to, no pun intended, to l- take a good look at your, your business, your vision plan, you know? literally and figuratively. And now I want you to do this personally and professionally. Take a good look at what the hell has happened. And we've got, you know, a quarter and a half left of the year. I don't care where you are in this world. Get your head out of the freaking muck and look around. Take one opportunity. Do something and message me. You just do it now. No more excuses. That is the title of this podcast. It's about time. I re- refresh that and bring that back into your face or your ears, all right? No more excuses. Grab, get your head out of the muck. Grab an opportunity. Lean into it and do something for yourself now, okay? By the end of this week, 
by the end of August. I'll give you to the end of August. I look forward to hearing from you. S. Ballard at growingforward.biz. Post here. Comments. Find me on it, on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere and message me. I want to know what you're doing. All right. Have a great week, and I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers. <music>